probably going to be the most boring talk from old LGM, but I think it's the most necessary one because at the end of the day, we all have to work at something. We're not going to sit into our houses or offices or desktops and pretend that we're going to start eating our keyboards and live technically through internet and breathe connections and interactions. That's not going to happen even if we try it at some point, but no, it's not going to fall. So let me ask, how many of you are actually employee? It doesn't matter if you work as a waitress or whatever, if you have jobs. Seriously, but you do have a job. Okay. Yeah. And how many of you work into the IT industry or at least what you are here trying to present or learn about? Half. Less than half people that has actually jobs. And how many of you do actually enjoy what you're doing at your jobs? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Really great. So when you go into the business environment, for me, it's always like the light side and the dark side. I mean, you get into the job, like forcefully, you have to wake up early and pretend that you like to have a coffee at 6 a.m. and commute and do all of that and think that your life has a meaning because you're earning money to keep coding and stay into the community. And it shouldn't be like that. I mean, seriously, it should not be like that because your best resource is time. People might say that knowledge or whatever. No, everything that you get to work with in the community or in your work is because you invest time. So you invest time into learn, into have interactions, into ask people, into hang, into uh, see videos every single time that you can read articles. And the next, uh, the next second mandatory resource that you have is the people because we are gathered here because we actually share something that we're passionate about so we're using your time and our time and everybody's time to gather with people that have similar uh, interest in to create something that is probably going to make uh, a really nice piece of software artwork uh, documentation or anything isn't that what a community is? Like what we're doing right now, investing our time with a lot of awesome people. But what if I want to make it bigger, bigger and better, and probably with a more <coughs> deeply meaning? So the thing about business is that you want to keep it real. So your employees and everybody that is related in there knows what they're doing, no hiding stuff. And you want to keep it simple, but as you see, certain conditions apply. It, having a business is never simple, but having a community is either simple as well. When you have to interact with just five, 10 people, maybe it's manageable, but when you have a, a user base or a contributor space over a thousand, 10,000 people, then it goes really, really crazy. And it's even worse than having a job. Running a community as a manager, as an advocate, or having something to do that you need to organize people is worse than having a job. I don't know if any of you are in a uh, you know, management position inside the community. Yeah. If you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Because at, at your work, you just go at 8 a.m. and then you left at 5 p.m. at least in my country. But then it starts the community work. And it can last until 8 a.m. from the Monday. So you are stuck two days just dealing with people that doesn't get paid to you. Then not even a coffee, man. I need a coffee. So they can both actually coexist. If we take business and we try to make uh, something more sustainable and something more deeply than just, you know, fulfilling clients' requests and doing stuff, we can actually have a business that works as a community, where people feel the value of being part of something. 
where your employees are not there just to have a meaning uh, or just to have a job or just make some money so they can have a life outside the job. Because in, when you're in that community, when you read that first uh, website and you say, okay, I'm going to use this piece of software, and then you enter into IRC and you say, okay, well, I can, I'm going to hang out with these guys and see what they are talking about. And then you go into the ticket systems and you say, okay, I'm going to try to help them solve some bugs or whatever. It's like something inside you tells you that you can be actually part of something. That's something that is cool. Why can't business work the same way but getting paid? So at the end, the community is just people that is actually doing development, people that is working on uh, UX, websites, more websites, translations, marketing, documentation. If you have a piece of software, a, a piece or whatever, you do need people that does a lot of work. But you also need a life. So you need money for food, money for beer, to have a suitable location to work, internet, electricity, hardware, new laptops that doesn't work when you need to give a presentation, stuff like that. So why can't you have both of them? Again. So any project has developers, staff, and users. And uh, I wanted to tell you a, a little bit about my uh, personal experience in this field. At some point, I was so stuck into the community that I uh, almost lost my job. It consumed my life. I was always being pinged on IRC by people, always getting emails, always getting phone calls. Uh, could you help us doing this? And I was the good girl. Yeah, I can do everything. No, we cannot do everything. So we need to surround us of people that actually can help us. But in certain situations, then you go and see people that actually need your help more than you need them. So I took uh, like this uh, uh, experiment in my country right now. Uh, I'm from Venezuela, that crazy country. If nobody knows where it is, let me buy your coffee, please. <laughs> and uh, we don't have too many uh, university teachers right now because they left the country. I didn't even went to university, I had to drop off because I discovered the community actually. And uh, I took uh, over 20 interns that were into the sixth semester and haven't even done any graphic design and they are studying actually graphic design. They were just reading papers that their teachers were, were sending through uh, email because they didn't even went to university to be with them. <coughs> so I took them and, and told all these people, okay, so I'm trying to be independent because all the shitty works that I got didn't fill me as a person. I want to have my own studio and do the things that I like on my own rhythm and with open source because I have always been working with open source graphic tools. So. Let me just get to pay you, to teach you what I know, and let's see what happens. And the thing is that I started this with only two interns. Right now I have 27 interns. All of them are getting paid with this, but normal in the country. I don't know if in other countries all internships are paid, but no. And uh, they are actually being part of the community just by working. I don't have this uh, red hat figure or ideas that everybody has to, you know, work for a community plus working for the job and doing all of this kind of stuff. No big corporations involved, just trying to learn, create, and earn some money in the process. And each one of us are in a position to actually change people's life with knowledge. And you should be taking this more serious because there is people who actually uses the pieces of software that most of developers in this room uh, are creating to live off. It's not bad to have a business and be part of a community at the same time. If you can manage to get something from 
both worlds, then why aren't we doing that? I mean, it's pretty cool just to hang and do software for fun. But if you actually have really nice software, why can't we take that further? Make people like have a live of that. So if you have a healthy environment, uh, everybody is going to, to win something. It's going to win knowledge, uh, experience, friends, probably a really nice resume because when you get out of uh, university, you're probably 25 or something, and they ask somebody that is under 22 with five years experience. So a student is not gonna get that by only studying. You need to train them technically from the first semester. So if every single person that is in a position just to help somebody else, but thinking about also work, not just a tutorial to, I don't know, do uh, frequencies or stuff like that. I mean, something that is part of your experience into the real world. What, why are you going to use this piece of software and not the other one? Are you using it to, to work with? Uh, do you know somebody that's actually working with it and making a life, uh, a life of it? Then try to share those stories as well because that's going to really show uh, the non-geeky community that this kind of software actually works in a business and is actually being used for work, not just for fun. Do not compare software, never, with anything. Just try to show people that it's worth it. it it's worth to have uh, the trip it's worth to invest the time into creating the software. It's worth to have the time dealing with users, getting uh, bug reports, requests, and all of that. But why, why are we using this software? It's just because of fun? It's just because uh, it's, a, it's cool to be doing a bit of hacking? No, it's because people is going to work with it at the end. So, uh, if anybody is interested from the uh, open source uh, design tools, uh, I would like to talk to you in private because there is this crazy idea that I got some time ago, and it's to build uh, an open source art academy. So you can teach uh, open source art tools. And I try to emphasize in arts, because you can get the LPI, you can have all, get all these Red Hat uh, tests and all of that, but there is nothing for arts. There is nothing that, as professionals, uh, you can get into some place and say, I know how to do this. There is no certification, there is nothing beyond just showing some pictures online or some graphics, and, and that's not enough. That's not enough into a, a working environment. You need to have something that says, not like a university degree or something. But would that be something viable that the main runners of the apps will be willing to work in? Having a, uh, you know, a certification, it doesn't have to be you know, like tests and, I don't know, it can be more simple than that. But it will be viable to do it. Would you be interested to do it? So those artists who are always, you know, like, wondering how to demonstrate the knowledge that they have beyond just you know showing what they do can they have something real to showcase that they really know that that's what i would really like to do if you allow me to at least have the idea so thank you for listening to this really boring talk <laughs> but think about it if you can actually do something that you like and you can get money from it without hurting other people or getting involved into a really awful corporate, corporate system, then do it. Thank you so much.